Hi there, I'm Wendy and welcome to my channel where I share knitting and crochet tutorial videos for my projects and techniques. And today's video is a sock knitting video and I'm going to show you step by step how to work the German short row shaped heel. Now my sock here has been knitted from the toe up but the German short row shaped heel can be used for either a toe up sock or a cuff down sock and it's just a variation of one of the short row shaping heels where you're working the heel in two sections. Now you'll start knitting your sock either from the cuff down in rounds until you reach the heel section or you'll have started knitting your sock from the toe up in rounds again until you reach the heel section. And then the actual heel section itself is just knitted on half of the total sock stitches and with that you're just zigzagging backwards and forwards and knitting this heel in rows compared to rounds. So just giving you a little overview of what we're doing, we're going to be decreasing stitches on the first half of the heel till we get to this central panel of stitches here. Then we're going to knit a couple of rounds working across all the stitches of our sock and then we're going to be increasing back out until we've got the correct amount of stitches so that we can carry on working in rounds to complete our sock. So when you're working short row shaped heels, most of the heel techniques use a method called wrap and turn. But with the German short row shaped heel, you'll be making double stitches and some people find this easier than picking up the wraps. But I'm going to take you step by step through the whole process so you'll see exactly how it's going to work. Now I'm going to be showing you on this sock here which is knitted in a four ply sock yarn and I've got a 2.5 centimetre 80 centimetre length circular needle and I'm also going to be using two round stitch markers. Now if you haven't got stitch markers you can always improvise by cutting two little pieces of yarn and tying them in a thread but having ring stitch markers does actually make it a bit easier to use. And I'm going to be working my heel in a plain colour so that you can see exactly what I'm doing step by step. So just before we start, if you're new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe and you'll get to hear when my new videos and updates go live. And if you've enjoyed this video, it would be lovely if you gave me a thumbs up as well. But for now, we'll get straight on and start working this German short row shaped heel. Now I've got my sock here that I've knitted from the toe up but as I said before it really doesn't matter whether you've started from the toe up or the cuff down but I've now reached the right point to start making my heel. Now altogether I've got 60 stitches on my sock which is quite an average number of stitches for your sock and I'm going to be working on this back half only so along here I've got 30 stitches. And what I want to do is I want to divide it into thirds. So for this 30 stitches, it's going to be three multiples of 10. And I'm going to divide this off with these two ring stitch markers. So I'm going to knit my first row and I'm going to knit it in this pink color. And then I'm going to pop the stitch markers in between the 10th and the 11th stitch. And then between the 20th and the 21st stitch. And I'll meet you back here. So I've now worked my first row and I've popped my stitch markers on the needle between the 10th and the 11th stitch and the 20 and the 21st stitch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working double stitches from the next row, working inwards at either end. And then I'm gradually going to end up with just these 10 stitches that will be knitted in the middle section. So to do this, I'm just going to turn my work as if I was just doing ordinary knitting and I'm going to start working a purl row. But the first thing that I'm going to do is to make my first double stitch. Now this is really simple and all you have to do is slip the stitch from the left hand needle across onto the right hand needle and then simply take your yarn and pull it up and over the needle and it distorts the stitch and if you take a look at it here, you can see it creates this double stitch effect. So I'm just taking the thread all the way over the needle and back round to the front, which is where it needs to be to purl. 
and you can see it's pulled these two purple stitches up and that is one stitch wrapped with the double stitch. So now I'm going to pull all the way across and that's just working across the 30 stitches on this side of the heel. So I'm just working across my first 10 stitches. And then I just slip my stitch marker from the left hand needle to the right hand needle and carry on purling. And then I'm slipping my next stitch marker across and I'm going to purl till I reach the end of the row. So now I'm back and I've reached the end of my row and I'm going to turn my work again and I'm back to a knit row. So this time we're going to create a double stitch on the first side of this row and then we're going to work all the way until we reach this double stitch at the end of the row. But this will become really clear and you'll see it's quite straightforward and it follows a pattern. So I'm going to slip my first stitch across from my left hand needle to my right hand needle and as this stitch is a knit stitch my yarn is at the back. So I'm going to bring the yarn up over the top of the needle and all the way to the back and just give it a slight tug and you can see that that has distorted the stitch and so now I'm going to knit all the way until I reach the double stitch at the end of my row. So we're just going to knit across as normal. And then when we get to the stitch marker, we're just going to slide that across from the left hand needle to the right hand needle and knit the central stitches. And slide the other stitch marker across from the left to the right hand needle. And then we're knitting on this left hand section until we reach the double stitch at the very end. Now if you take a look here, you can see this double stitch quite clearly at the end. So now I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to slip that first stitch from the left hand needle across to the right hand needle. And then my yarn is at the front ready to pull, but I'm going to take it up over the needle and back down and round to the front. And you can see quite clearly that it's created this distorted double stitch. So I now have two stitches wrapped. So now I'm going to pull all the way across till I reach that wrapped stitch at the end of my purl row. So now I'm back again and I've reached that last wrapped stitch. So I'm going to leave that on my left hand needle and I'm going to turn my work ready to work a knit row. 
So I'm going to start my row by slipping the first stitch from the left hand needle over onto the right hand needle and my yarn is at the back because this is a knit row. So I'm going to pull the yarn over the top of the needle and take it down under and back to the back of the needle again and just give it a very slight tug and you can see again that has created my next double stitch. So now I'm going to knit across until I reach the double stitches at the end of this row. So I've now reached the end of the row and I can see these double stitches quite distinctly. So I know that that's the right point to stop. So I'm now going to turn my work again and I'm going to be ready to work a purl row. So I'm just going to turn my work. And the first thing I'm going to do is slip the first stitch from the left hand needle across onto the right hand needle take my yarn up and over the stitch and down under the needle and back to the front and give it a very slight pull and you can see that I've created this double stitch that has distorted the stitch on my needle. So again I'm going to pull all the way across until I reach the double stitches at the end of this row. And as I approach the end of the row, you can see the difference between an ordinary purl stitch and a wrapped double stitch. So this is going to be my final purl stitch. And I'm ready to turn my work. I've now got two wrap stitches on my right hand needle already and I'm going to create my next wrap stitch and so I'm going to slide that stitch across from the left hand needle to the right hand needle and as it's a knit row my yarn is at the back so I'm going to bring my yarn over the needle to the front and back under to the back and just give a very slight tug and that will distort the stitch and create this double stitch. So now I'm ready to carry on again and knit until I reach the double stitches at the end of this row. And if we take a look here, we can quite clearly see the three wrapped double stitches and this last stitch here is just a single stitch. So we're going to knit that as normal and at the point where we reach the double stitches, we're going to turn our work ready to work a purl row. So I'll turn my work. And we're ready to work our next purl row. So I'm going to slip that first stitch from the left hand needle over onto the right hand needle and then I'm going to take the yarn up and over the needle to the back and under the needle to the front again, creating that double stitch and I'm ready to purl until I reach the double stitches at the end of this purl row. So you can see this is my last single stitch before I reach the wrap stitches. So I'm going to pull this last stitch and turn my work ready to work a knit row. So if we take a look at our heel shaping now, we can see that these wrap stitches are gradually coming in either end of our needle. And I'm going to continue wrapping the stitches at each end of the rows until I just have 10 stitches left on my central area here between the stitch markers. So I'm going to carry on until I've got 10 double stitches on the right hand side and 10 double stitches on the left hand side of my work. 
So I'm now back from working my rows, adding an extra wrap stitch either side. And I've just popped an extra loop in my circular needle, just so that you can see that I've got my 10 wrap stitches on the left side, my 10 wrap stitches on the right side, and I've got my 10 central stitches left on my main working needle in the middle. So that's the first half of our heel complete and that's the decreasing section done. And so now just before we start increasing back out again, I'm actually going to work a couple of complete rounds. So that's working across the back of the sock and then going across on the front side of the sock as well. But we just want to take a look at how we're going to knit into these double stitches because we knit into them slightly differently on the left side compared to the right side. So we'll start this little central section now. So I've pulled that extra loop out of my circular needle and now on my left hand needle I've got the 10 central stitches of my heel and then I've got the 10 wrap stitches along the left hand side of my heel. So I'm just going to knit across until I reach those wrapped stitches. So that's my first, my second, my third, my fourth, my fifth, my sixth, my seventh, my eighth, my ninth and my tenth stitch. And now I'm going to slide my marker across from the left to the right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit through both strands of the double stitch, but I'm going to knit through the back half of the stitch. So normally when we make a knit stitch, we're working from the left to the right, but we don't want to do that because we're going to make our stitch lean and we want our stitch leaning in an outward direction. So I'm going to go in through the center of the stitch, I'm just going to make sure that I knit through both sides of the double stitch. So now I'm going to go to the next one and I'm going to go through the center of the stitch and through to the back, making sure I've gone through both sides of the double stitch and I'm going to knit them off. And it feels a little bit like a knit two together. So again, I'm going to take my needle and go through the center of the stitch. So I'm going from the right hand direction to the left hand direction as if I was going to purl, but I'm going to take my needle out through the back and knit it off. And you can see that my stitches are now leaning in a left-handed direction. So I'm just going to carry on until I've knitted all those double stitches. So I'm just going through both sides from right to left and knitting them off. And here's my last one. And that's the 10 stitches on the left hand side of my heel shaping now knitted and that looks nice and neat. So now we're going to knit across the front of the sock. So we're working a complete round. So I just push my needle back. pull my working needle out and knit straight across. So I'm just going to pull that thread. That's just from my original sock that I was knitting before I changed color to work the heel. So now I can start working across the back half of my heel again. So I'm going to pull my needle back in and pull my working needle back out. 
So I'm now going to knit through these double stitches here to take us back to the central section of our heel. And I'm just going to knit them exactly as I would do with a normal knit stitch, except it will feel a little bit like I'm knitting two together because I've got this double stitch. So I'm taking my needle through from left to right, just as you would with an ordinary knit stitch. Now, if this side feels slightly different as you're knitting off the wrap stitches, don't worry, that is quite normal. But just with the nature of knitting through double stitches, it does feel slightly different when you're knitting both sides. So I'm knitting through both sides of these double stitches, just working my way along. So this is my third one. And continue going through both sides of the stitches all the way until we get back to that stitch marker. And so now I've completed my first round and I've knitted off all the wrapped stitches on the right hand side of my needle and all the wrapped stitches on the left hand side of the needle. So I'm just going to knit one more round just as normal, just knit stitches in your straightforward manner and this will feel very normal. So I'm going to meet you when I get to the end of this round and I get back to the first stitch marker. So we've now worked those two complete rounds and we're going to start increasing back out across these wrapped stitches so that we've got the full amount of stitches back on our needles and we can then continue working the next section of our sock. So I'm going to knit across these central 10 stitches and then show you what I'm going to do either side for the first two rows. So the first thing to do is to knit these stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, and then I'm going to slip my marker and I'm now at the beginning of the wrapped stitches. So the first thing I'm going to do is just knit one stitch and turn my work. Now I'm going to make a double stitch just like I did before. And so I'm going to slip the stitch from the left to the right hand needle and take the yarn over the needle and back down and round to the front. And I've wrapped one stitch. So now I can take this stitch marker out and I'm going to purl across the central stitches until I reach the other stitch marker. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and then I'm going to remove the stitch marker and I'm going to make one more stitch and then turn my work and then I'm going to slip that stitch across from the left to the right hand needle and I'm going to make a double stitch with that so I'm going to bring the yarn up the back over the top and down the front and to the back of my work again. So I've got my one double stitch. Now that has set the pattern for what we're going to start doing now. Because what we're going to do is every time we get to the first double stitch that we reach, we're going to knit that together and then we're going to knit an extra stitch or pull an extra stitch before we turn. So if you just follow me, it will soon become apparent. So I'm going to knit across the central part of the heel until I reach that first double stitch that's from the row below. And the double stitches do appear quite clearly because you can see those two threads where it's been distorted. So I can see that this is my double stitch and I'm going to, just like before, I'm going to knit through the back of the stitch. 
and that's given it that left-handed lean. And then I'm going to knit one extra stitch. Now I'm going to turn my work. The first stitch I'm always going to be slipping across from the left to the right hand needle and I'm going to be making a double stitch with it. So this time as it's a purl row, the yarn's going up the front over the top, back down again and bringing the yarn back to the front. And now I'm going to purl across until I reach the first double stitch on this side. And I can see my first double stitch here. And when I've got the double stitches on the purl side of my row, all I have to do is purl them together, making sure that I've caught both threads in that double stitch and I'm purling it off. And then I'm going to purl one to make that extra stitch. Now I can turn my work. The first stitch I'm always going to slip across from the left to the right hand needle and create a double stitch. Then I'm going to knit across until I reach the double stitch on the other side of the heel. So I'm just knitting across these central stitches that will gradually be coming wider. And I can see that double stitch here. And so I'm going to knit through the back of the double stitch, making sure that I catch both the threads and knit that off. And then I'm going to knit one extra stitch. So I'm going to turn my work. I always start by creating that double stitch. So I slip the first stitch from the left to the right hand side. It's a purl row. So I'm going to take my yarn up over the top, down the back and round to the front. And then I'm going to purl across until I reach the double stitch on the other side of the heel. And then I've reached my first double stitch on this side of the heel. So I'm going to just pull that together, making sure that I go through both of the threads. And then I pull one extra stitch before I turn. So I'm going to do another knit row. I'm going to slip the first stitch from the left hand side to the right hand side. And then I'm going to create that double stitch, bringing the yarn up over the back and down the front. And then I'm going to knit across the central heel until I reach the double stitch on the other side of the heel. And you do find that you can feel when the double stitch is approaching. So I've now reached the double stitch and I'm going to knit from the front to the back through both sides of that stitch. And then I'm going to knit one extra stitch and then I'm ready to turn. So I'll just do this a couple times more for you so that you can see the pattern that it's falling into. I slip the first stitch from the left hand needle to the right hand needle. It's a purl row. So I'm going to take the yarn up over the top, down the back, around to the front, and that's created my double stitch. And then I'm going to purl across until I reach the next double stitch, which I can quite simply purl together through both of the threads of that stitch. So I just make sure that I catch both of those threads and purl it together and then make one extra purl stitch before I turn. So I'm going to turn my work and work one final row showing you. So I'm going to slip the stitch from the left hand needle to the right hand needle, bring my yarn up over the top down the front and back to the back of my work. And then I'm going to knit across until I reach that next double stitch on the other side of my heel. And 
and here it is here's the double stitch so i'm going to knit through the back of the stitch and i've knitted that off making sure i've caught both threads and i've knitted the next stitch and then i'm ready to turn so if we take a look at it, we can now see how our shaping is coming back outwards on the heel. So I'm going to continue doing this now till I've reached the outside edge of my heel and I'll meet you back here when I've completed working my German short rows. So just before I go, one last thing when you're working any form of short row shaped heel is that you can get a small hole or gap appear between the upper foot and the lower foot so i'm just going to show you the method that i use to close those little holes or gaps and you can use any method of your choice but this is the way that i do it now i would normally be using my working needle but because it's clanking around and making so much of a noise i've just decided to pick up a wooden one instead so what I do is where I've got the threads connecting going across horizontally between the back foot and the upper foot. So that's leading from the heel to the top foot here. You can see that you've got these horizontal threads. Now I take my needle so it's pointing downwards, it's pointing towards me and I miss the top thread and I just take the needle underneath the second thread. And then I twist it around so that it's pointing upwards and I've created a loop. Now I like to pull that loop just to tighten the hole and loosen the thread that's on the needle. And then I take that needle underneath the top thread and then with my finger and thumb, I just pick up that twisted stitch that's the second one from the tip of the needle. And then I'm just going to piggyback it over that top thread and knit it off okay so i've now made an extra stitch so you can either put it onto the right hand needle and work a slip slip knit on the following round or you can pop it onto the left hand needle and knit two together and that will take you back to the correct stitch count and it will also close up any little pesky holes or gaps that you get. So I'm just now going to knit those first two stitches together. And I'll knit a couple of stitches so that I can then come back and show you. And that should have rectified any little hole or gap that was going to appear. So there you have it. There's your German short row shaped heel. So I hope you found this video useful, showing you how to work a German short row heel using double stitches rather than wrapped stitches. So I'll just say thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy your sock knitting as much as I do, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.